So what does this primal matter look like? This is the Brookhaven National Laboratory in Long Island, home to the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider, or RIC for short. Here, they recreate matter that filled the embryonic universe one millionth of a second after the Big Bang. In a sense, uh, Rick, it really is a time machine. We're reproducing the conditions that existed in the early universe on the order of one microsecond after the Big Bang. Rick fires gold nuclei around a two and a half mile circular tunnel, 78,000 times a second, almost the speed of light. Then it smashes them together in a giant star detector. Imagine smashing two cars together in a head-on collision and working out what the cars looked like by analyzing the debris thrown off. That's what the team at Rick is doing. They're hunting for the building blocks of protons by smashing them to pieces. Each collision that you see here, you can see that they're different. Some collisions have more tracks coming out of them. The curved lines represent, in fact, they are the particles that come out of the collision. And you can see each collision generates a different number of particles depending on the violence of the collision. What Mike and his team see is a spray of the most fundamental particles of all, quarks. Quarks are normally bound inside protons and neutrons, but give quarks enough energy and they break free. We expected these quarks, once they're liberated from the protons and neutrons, not to interact much with each other, just to stream out into our detector. What we found was the most perfect fluid that was ever discovered, ever measured uh, on, on the planet. So it actually flows much more easily than water does. This was absolutely surprising. And Rick shows us that perfect fluid of elementary particles occurs at just one millionth of a second into the Big Bang. But it doesn't last for long. As the universe expands, it cools, and something called the strong force makes its presence felt. The most important characteristic of the strong force is the confinement of quarks inside protons and neutrons that we see us today. When the temperature of the universe drops to two trillion degrees, the strong force clumps quarks together in groups of three, making protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atoms. The universe begins to take the form we know today. But as matter is bursting into existence all around the universe, there's still something missing. Somehow, this matter has no mass.